everyone so i also work uh, with the same project which I, which uh, adina just explained uh, so my part is to do hydrologic modeling and this study is about coupling of hydrodynamic and hydrological modeling and the model used for this study is telemark 2d which is originally a hydrodynamic model but uh, it also has an option to include a hydrologic mod module in it so that it can be extended to a hydrodynamic rainfall runoff model this hydrologic model uh, module is based on scs curve number method uh, the study area is very steep and very small uh, having total area of 10.5 square kilometers and it lies in uh, western norway the effect of various parameters uh, are investigated such as the effect of steep slope effect of various anc conditions and the effect of varying mesh size in the river and also in the rest of the catchment so first of all if we talk about the effects of changing the anc conditions and the curve numbers in the catchment the model responded well as it was expected that is uh, increasing the curve number throughout the catchment gave the higher runoff volume and changing the anc conditions from anc uh, from wet conditions to dry conditions decreased the runoff volume according to few past studies uh, increasing the catchment slope leads to an increase in the in the runoff volume but in this case the effect of applying the steep slope was only significant in the beginning of the simulation as we can see in the figure number 3 uh now if we look at the figure number 4 here uh, when the mesh size was changed from a finer mesh uh, to a coarse to a coarser mesh uh, the model was unable to catch the more precise runoff volume but the simulation run time was drastically decreased from more than approximately 3 days to 18 hours which is quite fast in terms of hydro hydraulic perspective and the final simulation results are shown in figure number 2 here mm -hmm. uh and uh, the setup for the simulation is mentioned here uh it is uh, and it shows that although the model responds to the rainfall correctly but the results for peak discharges are not very good for the coarser mesh size but considering the results from figure 4 it can be said that the volume of the water can be made more precise with the finer mesh size and uh, this is just a preliminary study using the telemark 2d model as it is and uh, it did not work as we wanted for the steep catchments so for the future work we are planning to implement other hydrologic models and methods including a snow routine in the current telemark 2d and in addition to that the aim will be to further reduce the simulation run time uh, so that's all from my side thank you everyone for your attention Thank you very much Nitesh for the interesting talk